Okay, everybody. Today, what we're going to do is drill a, a hinge plate onto the backside of a Aventos HK lift door. So I got the cabinet all assembled right here, as you can see. It assembles pretty simple. Uh, you just basically go through and you will uh, use our Conformat screws to assemble it, just like any other wall cabinet. Okay. The interior here is uh, also pretty simple. There's actually pilot holes. Uh, on each side. So if you see, these things are actually reversible, these, these pieces of hardware. Uh, there's a little pilot hole right there. Let's see if I can focus in on that there. There we go. And another one right there. Now technically, this, there's those that are on the back side as well. So uh, we actually have those holes already drilled in the cabinet. So you just basically place them on there. And then you attach the three screws that are provided uh, right into the cabinet case. Sorry, right there, right there, and right there. So that's pretty much as simple as it gets. We've already measured it all out for you, so you don't really have to do anything with that. Uh, just uh, follow the pilot holes and then screw those three in, you're done. So that's pretty much what the cabinet looks like after it's been fully assembled. But now, you're gonna have a door, and there is gonna be nothing on the back side of your door. This is part of our, our program here. And what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, it's pretty simple, and then I'll put a picture up here as well. Let's see if we can focus in right here. Basically what we need to do is we need to come over an inch and an eighth. Okay, and then just draw a line. What I like to do is I like to draw, uh, measure it out to this point, inch and an eighth, and then come up here and measure it out an inch and an eighth as well. Okay, and then I use my ruler and I'll just make a, a straight line all the way across. These holes do not have to be dead on exact. Just get it within a sixteenth of an inch and you'll be good to go. Okay, so an inch and an eighth there, and then what, what we need to do is measure from the bottom up. So using your either a ruler or a tape measure, most likely you're going to be using a tape measure hopefully, uh, come up two and a half inches. That's to the bottom of the door, so that's from this point right here. And just make a tick mark on your line you already drew. Next one's going to be three and three quarter. Next one is five inches. And then the very last one is going to be six and a quarter. Now technically you really only need the, the first, the inch and the, I'm sorry, the two and, a, two and a half and the six and a quarter because this is the plate we're going to be installing. Now just put that on here, you're going to see how they all line up. And it's kind of hard to see, but they all line up perfectly. We've already done all that work for you. So all you got to do there is now just use these hinge screws that are provided. It's these little guys. They look like this. They're in your packet of hardware. And you're going to drill directly into it on the top here. It's kind of hard for me to do this one-handed. Uh, just basically just drill it in the top and then the bottom and then the other two in the middle. And when it's all said and done, this will be attached to the back side of the door and it'll look similar to this. And that's pretty much it. So then what, all you gotta do, once this, thing's, uh, once this hinge plate's attached, you can just go over and you, you can actually click it. It'll actually click right onto uh, this bracket right here. And then you got yourself a, a wall flip-up door cabinet. Very simple. That's pretty much it.